Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Witches! Witches. Witchtober is upon us! And we're very excited <gasps> to be talking about 1996's The Craft. The Craft. Yes, the sleepover staple, The Craft. Love very, it. very excited to revisit this piece of pop culture art. Yes! It is indeed those things. Yes, but first things first. Yes, a shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you ad-free early access. $10 gets you access, it seemed like you were doing an incantation. $10 gets you access to our viewing party. So that makes it seem like you're trying to hypnotize. Oh no, yeah, sign up for Patreon. Try, subscribe, and share. I don't know. Share is coming up later in the month. Oh shit. It's the bitches of Eastwick. The I bitches of Eastwick? Can't wait because you have you have not seen no. yet. No, it's it's gonna be an event. Yeah, I'm so excited. You better, you better subscribe. Subscribe and click share. Click that click that bell. Click the thumbs up button if you like witches. Also, make sure to uh, all along the watchtower of no. Yes, yes. Hail to the guardians of the watchtowers of the east. Spirits of the watchtower, follow no, us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. And Twitter. <laughs> TikTok, Instagram, I already said that. <laughs> Good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it is my favorite time of year. Yes. Halloween is upon us. All Hallows Eve, autumn, spooky crafts, um, forcing Andrew to dress up in a series of, um, I think, fabulous, uh, <laughs> fucking fabulous outfits. We're, we're getting, we're trying on new, new skin. Yeah. You know, neither of us were goth in, no. oh, I don't think either of us are particularly goth right now, nope. but neither of us were goth in high school and we're trying our darndest. Yes, we are. I don't feel cool enough to be in this outfit, but here we are. Girls, watch out for those weirdos. <laughs> we are the weirdos, mister. I think you're rocking it. Great, great. Yeah. Very exciting stuff. Yeah. So, The Craft. The Craft. Uh, a movie iconic. Iconic. A movie I watched um, at every sleepover. Love that. Uh, it was it was this. It was Hocus Pocus. And um, mm. Multiplicity. Oh. She touched my peppy, Steve. <laughs> this is a movie that I watched for the second time last night with you. Hey! <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it was never my thing. I don't know if I, I wouldn't was... have imagined that no. it would be. I do feel like I remember friends talking about it. Right. You know, light as a feather, stiff as a board, and I it didn't was, know what um, they were talking about. It was a revelation. It was a moment in time. Yeah. It encapsulated an entire uh, generation of, of fashion, of music, of witchiness, yep. of bitches. Yeah. And it hit at just the right moment. Yeah. And, it's um, almost Heathers-y. It's almost Heathers. I had the same thought. It's definitely going for horror thriller. Yes. You know, and it's not trying to be campy. No, correct. Comedy. No. But there are elements of camp. Yes. Mainly for Rosa Balk. Yes. <laughs> he's sorry. Oh, he's sorry. He's sorry. He's sorry. He's sorry. He's sorry. It's like, I guess if you were to take Heathers and blend it with The Covenant. Now that's a movie I want to see, and I'm excited because we watched it last night, basically. <laughs> right? I mean, when you say that, yes. more or less. Yes. yes. You know. Now Sebastian Stan in this movie. As the football just player. Anything, any, all of it. Sure. Come to save little Miss Muffet, have we? A spider came and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. I'd watch it. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Anyway, so The Craft, directed by Andrew Fleming, who has a um, kind of a, a fun uh, list of credits. So he okay. he directed, I don't know, I would say it was a rom-com, a drum rom Okay. called Threesome with, with uh, one of the Baldwins. Oh. Stephen? Great. Stephen Baldwin? Oh my God. My friend just told me a very lengthy story that I will not tell because it was very boring. Mostly. It was just, get on with it. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Get on with it. I was like, C come on. What's was this, it about what's... Stephen Baldwin? But, yes, they went to their first LA premiere 
And it was for um, the squid and the whale? No, this was... Okay, because I was like, I don't think Stephen Baldwin... Anyway, continue. Anyway, whichever Baldwin was in it, they thought was it, oh, you were great in the movie. And it was one of the... Bal it was a different brother. And their friend was mortified. And it turns out it didn't, it didn't really matter. It went on... The, the story then completed with that friend that was mortified yeah. shouting at... Who's the kid from Freaky Friday? What's his name? Chad Michael Chad, Murray. Chad Michael Murray? Though in the parking lot, be like, I see you, Chad Michael Murray. It was not. It was, um, it was, um. Did they have facial blindness? It, right? I was, no, but this was a different friend that mistook him. The friend that was so mortified that the other friend mistook Baldwin Brothers, which look all the same. I'm sorry. Anyway, it was funny. She mistook Chad Michael Murray with, um, from Heathers. Christian Slater? Yes. Okay, they have facial blindness. And I was, well, <laughs> They are decades apart and don't look anything alike. I was like, I don't know what you're... Anyway, yeah. I see you, Chad Michael Good Murray. Murray. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I think you did a better retelling of that story. Okay. Concise. So, concise. Condensed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yes, the craft. We got to talk about the cast. Yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't finish talking about Andrew Fleming. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Right, he directed... Oh, my gosh. Threesome. So, Andrew Fleming... Yes, Stephen Baldwin. Andrew Fleming. That other guy that might be Noel Wiley but isn't... I think is the, it's one of those Dermot McDermott situations. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's one of those. He also directed Dick, the oh, Kiss with, and Dunce Michelle, yeah. Boy, which is great. Have you seen? Great movie. I'm pretty sure I might have seen it once. Underrated, fabulous, yeah. amazing, great movie. And he directed Hamlet 2. <gasps> Tucson, Arizona, where dreams go to, to die. die. This is the way we talk in Tucson, Arizona. I love that. What's your fucking problem? <laughs> what is your fucking problem, man? I think he did a great job directing this movie. Yeah, yeah. It's schlocky. It's schlocky. But in the right way. And it has real undertones of serious things. Yes. This is one of those movies that took the studios by surprise. Okay, yeah. Uh, it was relatively low budget. No one was expecting much sure. out of it, right? Yeah. So it was this sort of edgy, could talk about, I mean, there's so many dark things yeah. happening yeah. in this movie. And then it becomes this huge success because because uh, teenagers actually relate to it because being a teenager is fucking hard and crazy. Yeah. And I'm sorry, it's what? Being a teenager is hard? It's, it's hard. I was like, wait, oh no, I missed something. A drag queen. A drag queen. I am the queen of drag. Being a teenager is hard. Thank you. It's really fucking hard. Being a witch is hard. No, it's easy. A woo. By the powers of three by three. I call the watchtower of the children of the north. The mothers of intuition. Words words and things like that. Yeah. Anyway, this, so this it, happens frequently, I feel, where there's there's a movie that takes some risks, yeah. has a bit of bite, yep. a bit of edge, yep. and, this, and everyone and it, responds. It, it responds, and then the studios spend 10 years yep. trying to recreate the magic with a continually watered down, and it never works again because that's what was so unique engaging and, and, and unique exactly. and, and great about it. Because they deal with racism, abuse, yep. uh, rape, uh, body image issues, yep. divorce, suicide. Dead uh, mother. Dead mothers. Self-harm. Sl slut shaming. Like, yep. like there's so much happening yeah. that is truly dark. Yeah. And yet the movie never goes to a place where you feel really sad and depressed no. about it. You no, know? it's um, true. It writes that line really well. And I haven't seen the new craft, the new one, um, but I, I can only imagine it did not have this kind of bite to it. I, I, I can only imagine. Did I? I don't know. I, I remember you. when it came out. Yeah. I think I, we were re did a trailer reaction, but I did not see maybe, the Maybe, right. Because is she the bus driver? She's not a bus driver, but there was a bus scene that was they like... They recreated the... We're the weirdos, mister. Watch out for those weirdos. Careful. A lot of weirdos out here. We are the weirdos, mister. We're the weirdos, mister. And it's, you know, Feruza Ball is doing all of it and yeah. everything and camping it up. Yes. And, it's and she's so great. fabulous. I love her so much. Yeah. I was having, you know, Return to Oz flashbacks and I was like, oh, because, you know, she she's Dorothy. Right. Oh, cowardly lion. What's happened to you? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Come here, chicken! She's also in, speaking of Witchtober, The Worst Witch. Oh! It wasn't your fault anyway. Yes, it was. It was the pond weed that messed everything up. I didn't gather it at midnight. It was sort of after midnight. That is a remarkable spell. Halloween. Um, so, you know, great. connections. Wow, I love that. Good stuff. Yeah. We've got, yes, an all-star cast, Feruza Balk, Killing It, Robin Tooney, and Robin Tooney's wig. <laughs> well, which one? The, Wh which wig? The silver wig. <laughs> which wig is which? It's real! Which which wig is which? Which which wig is which? Because <laughs> she had just shaved her head for Empire Records. Oh. So she, had, so she was wearing a wig the whole time. Nev Campbell, the same year as Scream. Scream came out the same wow. year. And Skeet Ulrich, uh, same year Scream came out. Have you seen Scream? Well, they are both in it. Wow, great. <laughs> oh, wow! I put that together. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 know, yeah. They are both in Scream, which came out in 96 as well. Wow, they were busy, busy, busy bees. Yeah, yeah. Horror was on the, you know, yeah. on the rise again. <laughs> And Rachel True is is Rochelle. She unfortunately did not have as illustrious uh, of a career, but no. I do. I always remember her so distinctly from this movie. She uh, was great. Turns out she is in three episodes of Dream On, so oh, maybe I do remember her with Brian Ben Ben. With Brian Ben Ben, look at you. And I guess she was in a couple of those Sharknado movies. Oh. Or something. I'm not sure. She's. I'm surprised, honestly, she wasn't in the new craft. That seems like a no-brainer. That does seem like a no-brainer. Oh, she's, you know, Rochelle's mom now. Sure, love right? that. Why Come not? On Zoe Leister-Jones. Oh, did she make it? She directed it. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I'll watch it. I should have watched. I'll report, report back, back at the end of Witchtober. Report back. I, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I didn't really either. I, maybe I watched it. So whenever we do a spell, we always cast a circle first. Think of it as, you know, Making a container to hold all of our energies and to keep the bad shit out. And uh, Brecken Meyer, a year after Clueless. Wow, yeah, yeah. Wow. A year after, interesting. I mean, that makes I sense. Mean, he looks the same there. Who knows when they were filming and of course, versus of course. when it came out, but yeah. you know. Anyway, so that's the fabulous and amazing cast. Yeah. And we meet uh, Robin Tooney. She's the new girl they moved from San Francisco. Philly, Boston, Chicago, San Francisco. And uh, this house. Oh, we talked a lot about this Spanish style uh, Californian California house. House that with sun dried um, tomatoes. We wavered back and forth. I know this is really what you came here for the the craft review for, but you know the tile, no. Yeah. The wood floors, yes. Yeah. The um. The other tile floor, no. Other the 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 tile fireplace and the they kept trying to make peach. And blue work together. Yeah, but like a really specific blue too. And a really specific And it's like peach. that blue is like Greek islands blue to me. Yeah. It should be with a very bright white. Yes. Not dirty orange. It was um it wasn't good. There's a lot of wrought iron. Yep. Uh lots of bougainvillea. Yeah. And um it was definitely a period of time. It was definitely giving me nostalgia for LA in the nineties. Really? See, yeah. I don't think this is a nineties this is Left over from like LA in the 20s, obviously, the architecture. This was giving Melrose Place. I feel like everyone had moved to that section of town and it was suddenly the Spanish revival right. of, you know, that kind of. I didn't watch Melrose Place. You, you weren't watching Melrose Place as a child with mm. your family? No. I think that we have something to talk about. Why don't you just say what you're going to say and make it quick? Fine. I found Michael in bed with your sister. What? What, you forgot you did me all night long? No. I don't know what you hope to accomplish, but I think you should leave. It's a public place. Or did you lose sight of that gyrating all over the floor with my father's widow? You are a pathetic, sick excuse for a man. And if my mother wants you so badly, she can have you and all the crap that comes with you. Jake, you slept with me and then with her. What do you call it, double dating? What? You think you're gonna run to Allison's arms? You're not rich enough for that money-grabbing slut! <gasps> 
my husband, Billy, for life, for the rest of your life. Have you ever had to fire a person who was gay or lesbian? Yes, I fired a head nurse. Didn't you also reassign an intern at Dr. Taylor? Dr. Taylor had an attitude problem. Do I have an attitude problem, Dr. Hobbs? I'm gay. He practically raped me. Miss, I would really like that chicken salad. In a minute. I loved you. And it was the biggest mistake that I ever made. Do you think that I want a life of peanut butter and jelly? I want caviar. I want lobster. I want style in my life. Is that guy gay? Yeah, what about it? Nothing. I, I, I'm just not used to seeing somebody so upfront about it. Oh, gosh, I'm late for surgery, man. Nice seeing you, huh? Hmm. Look out! Sydney! Oh, my God! <laughs> before anybody gets hurt, okay? No, no, no. On, She's baby. lying. It's my baby. Come on, miss. No, no, no. It's Hand my baby. Please baby. don't, please don't take my baby. No. <sighs> Some kind of twisted, lovesick lie. <laughs> you think I'd lie about being a hooker? Stop it! Stop defending her! All you do is defend her! Everything she does is perfect! She's always right and I'm always wrong! It's all I've been hearing since we got married! Well, I did it, okay? I wrecked her apartment! I did it, I did it, I did it! Are you happy now? No! Looks to me like I'm ending our marriage. You misrepresented yourself, Kimberly. You knew how important having a family was to me. You promised to give me one. And now you're barren. You can't deliver the goods. Oh, my God, this is cruel. It's valid grounds for ending the marriage. Just ask your lawyer. I thought I'd go visit my sister for a few days. Don't lie to me. You're going up to San Francisco to have an abortion, aren't you? Hey, Sam, if you do this, Allison, I'm never going to forgive you. You hear that? Never! What'd you do to Allison? I didn't do anything to her. That's what she's gonna do to herself. She's going up to San Francisco to have an abortion. Wait! 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 It's not what it looks like. Amber. <gasps> Kimberly. It's worse. No! I was playing soap opera with Barbie. I love it. So, quick moment break, and we will be back with more Manon. <laughs> Manon. Manon. The power of Manon. It's Manon. So, yes, Robin Tooney uh, is at the Catholic school, right. and it's very cruel intentions. Very cruel intentions vibes. Which, another, like, dark, yep. uh, s adult, yep. teenage, yep. Uh, romantic comedy dramedy that they didn't see coming and have never been able to recreate since because they have taken the bite out of it. Right. Uh, we start and Faruza Balk is essentially Winona Ryder in Beetlejuice in high school, right? Sure. Uh, she's got a noose in yep. her locker. That's yep. how uh, into death she is. Right. She needs a full scale, full scale noose. Noose. Yeah, it really was. Lefty, are you about a 16, 16 and a half off? Huh? 
Oh. <laughs> this was giving some Ginger Snaps vibes. Yes. You know, where it was just like, oh, we're performatively weird. Yes, we're performatively weird. We're performatively obsessed with death. Not just like not exclusively for the performance of it. Like obviously there's a, a background. Yeah, yeah. But uh but it was also she enjoys playing that bit of like, oh I'm the weird girl. Do you guys mind if I sit with you? Because I'm supposed to find a lab group. Okay. Well it's it's, it's informed by her character, right? She's yeah. responding to traumas that have happened in her past. The whole Skeet Ulrich uh, backstory about sure. like, oh, you know, we slept together and then he called me a slut and broke up with me and now, you know, fuck that guy and, yeah. and all of that. He comes on to anything with tits. I'm not watching him. He spreads disease. I speak from personal experience. All really real, like there's so much truth in this movie that is like, oh shit, that is how high school can be sometimes. And not shying away from it, but right. also not approving of it. Just, it's presenting it. Yes. And this is how, in a, in a hi heightened, fantastical version of, 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 of events, of things that could happen, you know, girls will be girls, you know, or whatever. There was a funny Instagram thing that was like, oh, you know, a father and a mother or whatever, and it was like, oh, you know, your my son pushed your daughter down on the playground and whatever, but you know, boys will be boys, and then it cuts to the mom and she goes, oh yeah, then they took his body out into the woods and ate his liver and whatever, but you know, girls, girls will, will be, be girls. girls. <laughs> the only way you know how to treat women is by treating them like whores when you're the whore. <laughs> Well, and then also at the school is, uh, I mean, this is so rude that I know her as Ben Stiller's wife from... You know her as Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Of course. Of course. Sure, Jan. Sure, Jan. That's funny. I've never heard of a George Glass at our school. He's really good looking and he thinks I'm super cool. Sure, Jan. Mm. Sure, Jan. But I think my first introduction to her, crazily was enough, Zoolander? was Zoolander. Yeah, and then that makes subsequently sense. Dodgeball. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, she plays a super racist bitch who then subsequently loses all of her hair after being cursed. I remember this so distinctly, and this being so powerful, just showing racism. Yeah, and it wasn't in a heightened. It's realistic, but like it wasn't in a Mississippi burning. Where this is an after-school movie no. that teaches you about right. racism. It's just like this was just everyday casual racism. Yep. Oh God, look, there is a pubic hair in my brush. Oh no, wait, wait, that's just one of Rochelle's little nappy hairs. <laughs> and it was so much more affecting. Absolutely. And you're like, <gasps> oh my yeah. God, yeah. I don't like Negroids. Sorry. This. Oh right. shit! You know the what I mean. The fuck she just say? Yeah, yes, yes. For real. Yeah. No. And um, so they 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 take the time to set up each girl's sort of, uh, you know, struggles struggles in life. And Nev Campbell has uh, horrific scars that she's dealing with, so she's you know not Always. washing her hair. Um, <laughs> but no, it's fine. But there was a lot of like it was a it was a lot of uh, yeah, um, a lot of, of of. They really tried to ugger up. Don't look at me. And I was like, it's definitely sure. guys. Yeah. It's Nev Campbell. <laughs> Yeah, right. Like, and Fruza Ball is, you know, she, she, I don't know. I think she wished to not be white trash. I think she doesn't want to be white trash anymore or something. And I told her, like, you're white, honey. Just deal with it. Robin Tooney has, like, horrible depression and tried yeah. to commit suicide. So they've set up... Um, <laughs> They've set up each of them and their individual and why it brings them together yes. and why the um, the powers that be, you know, and, and the temptation of power and shifting those dynamics and all of that and the soundtrack. Actually, sorry, I so just, great. the soundtrack is great. So great. We will talk about it further. I just also was laughing because it was a little bit like, oh, I'm dealing with racism. Oh, I have these horrible sure, scars like that I wish that I could be. I wish that this boy liked me. Especially Chris Hooker. <laughs> I know it's pathetic. It's definitely pathetic. Oh. You know, everyone's on their different playing fields. Yes. Everyone's got different. Yes. <laughs> Not everyone is the same. You know. No, no, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was okay. So, are you ready for this? I don't know. I realized this plot is the literal plot of Wish Upon. I yes. want revenge upon popular girl. I will make her lose her hair and or get necrotitis in her leg. 
I want to be rich yep. because I'm poor and I get it via life insurance from a person nearby that has died and, and given it to me. I want the popular boy to like me so much. He becomes infatuated. It's a problem. And then I want to be the popular, beautiful girl. I don't want to have these scar, you know, right. scars, real, you know, uh, actual scars or internal, whatever. Sure. I want to be the most popular girl in school and have everyone like me and have confidence and whatever. It's literally the same. I mean, I love that. That makes right? sense. Right? And it's like the consequence and whatever. And, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's interesting that the motivations of teenage girls is exactly the same in 96 as they well, wrote it in 20 you know certainly although i'm also sure that i i would not be surprised if the people that wrote wish upon were heavily inspired by the craft oh of course of course if you were to say to me oh wish upon is an updated version of the craft but instead of witchcraft it's a magical box yeah sure well and the problem with wish upon because I always the problem? Talk about Wish Upon, a perfect bad movie. You know, she's wishing by herself. It's yes. all her own wishes, so yes. she seems even more selfish. Correct. And they haven't set up her kind of struggles enough that you are rooting for her sure. to, to... I mean, it's it's Wish Upon. It doesn't quite... It's not... It's not, it's not but this. That, but that's where I really do appreciate. I think the level of craftsmanship of this movie mm -hmm. really makes it succeed. Yeah. And the ways in which it's not well made yeah. are actually great. Yes. You know, where it's like you need that bit of schlock. You need the camera work and the stupid. The over-the-top camera work. You know, like yeah. I said in the viewing party, this has as much lightning as fucking Dante's, Dante's code. code. Welcome to the Hotel Dante. Yes. But you need that in order to make it spooky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's the covenant of it all too, right? Where it's like you get these iconic visuals and it gives it this spooky vibe and it makes it feel real yeah right yeah, yeah, yeah. her floating light as a feather stiff as a board and the the, the crazy cuts and the this and that you know it's very yeah. quick and like oh I'm, I'm hallucinating yeah it makes it feel that There's much more slumber party -y. hands and circling yes. and this and that you know, yeah. all this stuff yeah. yeah you get swept up in it and you're like ooh, this is fun it makes it feel like a cool crazy movie well it's it's just adult enough that because i was watching this in middle school right you know wow. and so it's, it was just adult enough that it was like oh, yeah oh what are we watching this yeah. is oh you know should we be watching this oh right. it's spooky ooh, it's, it's spooky, scary it's you know scary. it's about witchcraft um, and... but we didn't i mean the soundtrack is oh, right. so Sorry, great the soundtrack so iconic obviously i was like charm came out after Dude, oh, this. Yeah. It had to have. It had to have. In, a verse, in response. I would say Charmed is the closest they got to not recreating the craft, but just quality witch uh, mm. entertainment. Let's say that. Quality dark witch entertainment. I love that. Yeah. I think that's our poster quote for this one. Quality witch entertainment. Quality witch entertainment. Love it. Right. But so anyway, so yes, soundtrack, amazing. <gasps> Great. So Oh, I mean, in the 90s of it all. Yes. The clothes, the soundtrack, the, oh, yeah. all of it. It's yes. very, it's very the good. The costumes, all of it comes together. And um, they go to the witch shop because oh, they course. found their fourth Robin Tooney. They're going to, oh, that's yes. going to be their coven. Yes. And now they're stronger together. And now they have north, south, east, and west. Yes. And they go to a field trip uh, into a field. Oh, after they uh, run into, they run onto the set of Bo is Afraid. Hey, wait a second. I have to talk to you. I had a dream about you. Listen to me! It was very like, and we've entered a different movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, it's Hollywood Boulevard and yeah. it's absolute garbage. And you're like, ah, da, da. It was And like, then the creepy guy with the snake who then is following her and then gets right, right, run right. over by hit by a car. Because they were all thinking it. They were all thinking it. Were you thinking that he was gonna get hit by the car? I thought, I he, was thought gonna... he was and then he got hit. I thought he was too but then it escalates, right? They go on their field trip and they drink each other's drops of blood in the right, wine. Right. And they call upon all of their powers and by the power of our sisters, I want this, I want that, I want that. They all make their wishes. Yeah. And then they all start to become true. But be careful it, what you wish for. Well, yes. But also I like that at first you're kind of like, well, is it happenstantial that he just happened to kind of be like, oh, she... She spurned him and now he's into it. And then you're like, no, he really seems to be acting crazy. Right? Right. Oh, oh, the scars really to go up. Is it the medicine, the crazy, creepy shot thing that we saw the day before? Or... That was, that was so the needles. ingrained Ooh. in my brain. Yeah, rough. Did that work really well? Or right. is it the magic they, they of... They give you a of, reason to of believe Manon? it. Um, oh, is it Manon? Yeah. Did she cause him to have a heart attack? The stepfather? Or did he just happen to have a heart attack because the microwave was shitty and exploded? Right. We'll never know. 
but then things seem to get more and more right. Oh, now they can levitate. Oh, oh now they're just fully doing magic. Y- yeah. Also, um, Feruza Balk's mom, at a certain point, once they're rich, oh. just becomes Alan Barkin from Drop Dead Gorgeous. Absolutely. The outfit, she the constant cigarette, yep, the it, can, uh, yep. the hair. Can, I want to tell you about Connie Francis, girls. Oh my God, it's so funny. All I want in life is a jukebox yeah, that weighs nothing but Connie Francis. Like, tell me, I want to know. Tell yeah, me, tell, tell me, me more. About Connie Francis, I'm obsessed. Tell yeah. Me Who's Connie Francis? Oh, shut up, honey. Listen and learn, Connie Francis. So I appreciate that it like kind of escalates and whatever. So then they they right. all get what they wanted. Um, I mean, this Nev Campbell becomes such a like overnight. Oh, but also like. A hungry dick pig? Oh, or something? Yes. She's just so flirty, right? She's suddenly. Hey, nice butt. Hi. No, oh, don't be shy, honey. Nice ass. Oh, hey. <laughs> what? He had a nice butt. They all get um, corrupted, if you will, sure. or or uh, they feel guilty about what they've done, or like they each have a response to uh, their wish, and is it really gonna fix um, what they thought it was gonna fix right. in their lives? Right. Aside you know? from. Feruza, I feel like, just enjoys well, she the just, power. Well, um, she, she just falls in. I guess now, actually. Yeah. Well, because she calls upon the she power. She wanted all of the power of Manon. Yeah. So she was already hungry for power, and now she becomes that much hungrier for power. Yeah. So I love that. This movie's great. It's really, really great. I will say. It does slow down a lot in the I middle. think um, the third act is unfocused. Yeah. So, and, and it's. It's in a way, it's the perfect sleepover movie because I remembered the exact moment when we all started to doze off at the sleepover. Yeah. Because the last third of this movie, I was like, I barely remember this at all. Did the, but I've seen this movie upwards of fifteen times. I love it. And I was like, I'm not remember like the, so many scenes in the front end of it. I was like, Yes, I know that exact. Uh huh. Mm, yeah. And then it was just like. Yeah. yeah. So basically, the spells are going wrong. Skeet Ulrich has become so infatuated that right. now he has uh, he's become a rapist. Yeah. And or an attempted rapist. Now, do, but this is also an interesting thing, right? Do we think that he's become one, or do we think that he always was, and well, that and his infatuation and, uh, and we know that he certainly is a slut shamer, yep. and that he dropped Fruza Balk once they slept together. Like we know that he's not respectful of women Correct. or their bodies yes. or their personal feelings. Right. So we know that. That to be yeah, true, because yeah. that was pre-spell. Right. I'll give you a back rub. I don't want a back rub. No, no, no. Please. Chris, I don't want you to, okay? Just let just go. relax for a second. Turn around. I, I think you should take me home. No. Do we, you know, think it heightened what was already there? You know, who's to say? But he certainly attacks her. Yes. Fruits of Balk goes to get revenge. Yeah. And at the party. That's everyone, right. Yeah, she's here. Oh, my God. She's really here. She really does <laughs> take it too far, where she then, you know, by... By the power of three by three, oh, change my... Oh, this I remember. So, just the, mm, the, yeah. the... It was good. The effects were great. It was a really great uh, combination of a uh, few digital effects yep. and and real the real animals. Yes. Oh, Creepy. It really... Um, it really was visceral. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised that I slept well last night because I kept seeing spiders and it just really... It was uh, like, ah, oh, Feruza Bog, leave me alone. Feruza Bog, stop stalking me with animals. Ah. <laughs> And yes, she takes it too far, and she's getting now she's getting her revenge on Skeet Ulrich for right. you know for uh, rejecting her. So she pretends to be Robin Tooney with a glamour, and I mean they're fully gonna fuck. Yeah, one I assumes. think she's gonna take it that far. Yeah, and then pushes him out the window, yeah. and that's when I think the movie loses its steam and its focus. Right. It, that's like the the oh fuck, and I think basically from there on it should have been the same night or the next morning running and gunning, oh my God, that he's been killed. Oh my God, we have to react to Fruza Balk. Oh, this is so wrong. We have to contain her. Yeah. Oh, Rachel True and Nev Campbell are now full bitches, just like full assholes. And Robin Tooney, and, like it should have all happened that night. Like it slows down. It's like, oh, let's pro, oh, Skid Ulrich has died. I mean, doesn't it happen I'm, the next day? No, she's like sitting around. She's like, I'm going to bind her. We go to the witch place. She talks guess, to the lady that it doesn't really come to anything. Like she doesn't get new information from her no. that then leads her to use it later. For Well, like, she does say that, oh, you have a super powerful witchiness in you and you, know, you can use the power of Manon for good. 
it's not like enough of a clincher. No. Like I think it needed to have that scene set up earlier yeah. or something. It needed to be like, oh my God, that this is the craziest thing. And then da, 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 amp up, amp, 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 amp. And like, you know, have 15 minutes of that and then the movie's over. Correct. Because this sort of, and we can still have all the animals, them coming to her house. All that stuff works. Just tighten up the timeline. Yes, I agree. I think if you move the scene of her talking to the witch shop lady, yeah. have that all in one, right? Earlier on, she's talking to them yeah. about... Uh, I think you're taking it too far. Right, oh, it do? comes back in you in threes, and, and if you, yeah. you know, like, it's about... Like, nature has the balance. It's just about what's in your heart. That speech was good, and I think if you just expanded on it just ever so, right. it would have been enough for her to like call back to a flashback, even. Sure. You know, in her mind of, oh, if you do, That's you don't right. need the my, explosion. My witch, no, we don't need that at all. That's right, my witchy mom in the garden. She, she used nature too, you know. Sure. And then, like we needed either the mom to show up as a ghost, you know. Oh, Robin Tooney. Or you've got this. Or something. you just. Or it's a flashback of oh, your mom. She was a witch too, right? Of course, you know. And she's like muddling something in her fabulous kitchen. I love that. You know. Yeah. And then oh, mom. Ah. Oh. oh no, wait. She died during childbirth. Oh, that's yet right. another very serious topic that we address yeah. in this yeah. film. You killed your mom when you were coming out of her. Now that is really special. Even I couldn't go that low. Bravo! Frizzabok goes from you know from zero to sixty. Like she's just like, and I am pure evil, it, bitch. And you're like, it's yes! kind of not the covenant. Wish upon. No, oh, that is yeah. the covenant. Oh yeah, because the power corrupts I, and it. I'm feeling witchy. <laughs> Witchy. Ooh, witchy. Ooh, witchy. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, he's gonna. Get, you know. Let's get Faruza Balk and Sebastian Stan. <gasps> Absolutely. In a movie together. Absolutely, but maybe it's a witchy rom com. Yeah. No. It's a dark, witchy romance. Yeah, into it. Sure. There was a weird connection. So, okay. Christine Taylor is in the movie is like a horrible person and Rachel True you know wishes that the, and her hair starts to fall out and it just keeps falling out and she looks like Benjamin Franklin and it's kind of funny and um but the funniest part is mm -hmm. you never watch Friends but on she had a guest spot like a arc oh. a, an arc on Friends where she played a woman named Bonnie strangely enough because that's Nev Campbell's character's name in this right. I don't know were there a lot of Bonnies in 96 and Nancy and I was Nancy's, like mm -hmm. the plot point is that she shaved her head she liked being bald she was oh. like oh Bonnie she's Bald. It was Phoebe's friend who R Ross got together with, and it was drama between Rachel and where they're gonna get back. To, and so she convinced her to shave her head. Anyway, long story short, I was like, what is going on with Christine Taylor and, and the shaving bald. of her head? And did this movie where they like she's willing to look crazy, bald, yeah. crazy, and yeah. bald, you know, or yeah. whatever? I don't know. But I was like, oh, because this was like a friend when she was on Friends. I think it was like a, a year after this or two years huh. after cra the craft. So I was like, just like, oh, that's a, that's a weird connection. Yeah, that is. So the big showdown. Um, yeah. lots of animals and um, creepy snakes yeah. coming out of orifices Everything and filled up on the on the. I mean, see now this house did have a lot of good shit. Like she's in that glass covered room, <laughs> right? The like gazebo room or whatever it is. I don't know what you would call that. The bones. Almost, the bones are there. The bones are there. I'm telling you, I would buy this house, fix it up. It'd be great. It'd be fabulous. Probably there's probably a pool in the back somewhere that could be fixed up. It'd be great. Definitely would need to be retiled because you know it's a tile pool. Oh yeah, no, you don't. You put plaster. But anyway, yes, they're tormenting her. Oh my gosh, they they glamour that her parents, well, her stepmother and her dad have have died in a, in a plane, plane crash. crash. Like they are saying, why don't you just kill yourself? Yeah. Like it's so much. No, they don't even say why don't you just. They say you're gonna kill yourself and tonight. And we wrote your suicide note yeah. for you. I, I killed, killed Steve. Sorry, love Nancy. No, love. Love. Rachel? No. Sarah. Sarah. Love, love, remember that movie, Love, Sarah? No, I completely forgot. It, still, it hasn't come back to you? I don't really remember anything except for the title. We reviewed it. Yeah. What? I won't remind you. It was okay. Um, Who was in it? Does, does, doesn't matter. You forgot. Great. For a reason. Love it. Ooh, mm -hmm. it went away. Ah, bliss. <laughs> They're tormenting her, and it's giving it's giving very Lydia from, from Beetlejuice. They're floating mm, with the yeah. big skirts at the end, yeah. and they're like, ah! Witches and Ooh, another iconic moment. Sorry, just oh. going back to Fur's Ball. <gasps> With the, the, the toes, exactly. It's so good. 
so good. So much like um, iconographic. Those are raw words. Iconographic imagery. That's what I'm saying. Culture imagery. He's a really good director for yeah. creating those moments. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, stuck. yeah. I mean, they, they, that's yeah. Anyway. And and Fruza Balk is selling. Oh, of course. Shit out he of couldn't it. have done it without her. Because she's in her um, curly haired phase. Yeah, oh my god. Because she's out of control. Out of control. Then why are you still bleeding? He's so pathetic. So yes, yeah, Sarah has to fight back oh, right. and she, you know, overcomes these horrific things and says, no, I am more powerful than this. I am yes. the witch of the north. Yeah, and, she ah. sees the picture of her mom move and she remembers, well, or or something. Something happens, she finds She finds her mom's within. yeah, power within her. Yes. And she uh calls on the power of Manon. And she binds Nancy. And I mean, at this point, she turns into the troll from Ernest Scared Stupid. She's got Oh, her her snaky. She's got phalanges coming out of her, her, her snaky hair. La, 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 la. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, ah! little bugs, like lots of roaches and things everywhere, climbing. It was creepy. It was really good, and it's open ended. Because I, I, again, I had forgotten this last part part of the movie for some reason. I I, I think it's because I was always asleep. Um, I must have seen it at some point, but it didn't stick. So uh, yeah, at this point, I'm like, wait, did she kill Nancy? Like it kind of is like, and uh, something, yeah. you know. And I was like, I don't remember. And it's the next morning. They're packing up the car. Presumably, it seems to leave to town. Right, it I'm seems like sure. they're moving. Uh, but Nev Campbell and Rachel True uh, show up. Nev Campbell in a, a really horrible, like, 20s gangster zoot suit, button down, <laughs> yeah. long. Long, red, um, oh, with the weird it was, sleeves. It was not good. And you're like, I'm going, Is are her scars back? Because why is oh, she so she covered, covered up? up? Or not? We don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. But we don't know. Um, do you have any powers left still? Because we don't. And they're still being like full bitches. And you know that thing on TV about the plane crash was just the glamour. I mean, it was a practical joke. Funny. We came to say sorry, mostly just to ask you if you had any powers left. Because we don't have any. Because you tried to kill, kill me? me. <laughs> yeah. We feel really bad about trying to kill me. Yeah. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Bailey. Bailey. Oh, hi, Mr. Stevenson, or whatever. It was like, you know, that's the um, tone of this is very... Right. We're, ah, you know, it's still cheeky. Don't worry about it. She probably doesn't have any powers anyway. But she still does have the power. Oh, the tree. And then we get this button on it that Nancy is, uh, you know, oh, getting right. into an insane asylum. I'm flying. I'm flying. Yeah. I'm flying. And he's giving me the power to, you know, yeah, she was driven right. mad with power. I, I mean, I hope, I don't know. I mean, wow. Wow. I would say I wish that this movie didn't end that way. Hi. I mean, she's giving a performance. Oh, of and course. And it's great. But yes. you're right, it's a little bit like, oh, and then they locked her up in an insane asylum. For yeah. Like, oh. oh, she's crazy. And you're like, no, okay. It doesn't end on a, because, you know, when they're making the movie, they're mm -hmm. like, oh, well, the true villain is for Rusa Balk. Like, she becomes corrupted right. and becomes the villain. But um, Really isn't society? Yes, exactly. So, but watching it, you know, you're like, no, I'm rooting for, she's fabulous. I'm rooting for her. Yeah. I mean, she, I want her to do better, but like. Um, I want her to learn a lesson. Yeah. And and then come back, you know, oh, I'm sorry. I took it too far. Now, the problem is, here's the problem. For me, yeah. personally. Yeah. I don't like the darkness of it okay. at the end, where I would prefer that it didn't go that they all try and kill her. Uh, and instead, like, yes, there's a there's a conflict. They've been corrupted by Mena, and they have to exercise it out of her or, or something. Right, whatever. They, they, they come together. They have a, 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 a large conflict. There's fighting, right? Maybe there's power off. Ooh, witchy, right? But at the end of it, she loses all of her power, maybe forever, right? She can mm. never be, Nancy can never be a witch again because. I think that is what happened. Well, sure, right. clearly. I mean, she's an insane. I'm right. I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm flying. Look at me, way up high, suddenly, here am I, I'm flying. So that's just where it falls apart for me. A little bit, yeah. And I'm like, oh, so close. 
But I still really like it. Like, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoy the movie. You, do, and I think, you don't love that it ended and it's Girl Interrupted. You know, suddenly right, you're like, oh right. no, what? You're like, oh, no. oh, and then she just was crazy. and It's she... a prequel to Girl Interrupted. Oh my God. Love that. Anyway, yeah. it was still really fun revisiting yes, this. I do think it's mostly very successful. I oh, do yeah, think, yeah. you know, it does have its issues, but wow, it's one of those movies where you don't realize how much people have aped off of it. Yeah. Um, like, uh, you know, oh, everyone does that now. It's like, yeah, because they did it first. Right. You know, it's like the first Mission Impossible movie. People kind of write it off like, oh, yeah, yeah. But it's like, no, 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 no. He created the language. I mean, Hitchcock created the language. And then Brian De Palma was like, I I will recreate the language with brighter colors. And then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, maybe her name is Nancy uh -huh. as a reference to the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Oh, maybe. I mean, Wes Craven didn't direct this. No. Or produce this. But he did write and direct Scream, so. Okay. <laughs> Seeing things that aren't there, connections. <laughs> anyway. Sure. Sure, Jan. Anywho, cheers to all these fabulous Did we actresses. talk enough about light as a feather, stiff as a board? I don't think so. We didn't talk about the overalls. We didn't talk. No. <laughs> we didn't talk about the Catholic school girl uniforms right. enough. The, uh, the or the twisted uniform, right? The it's cardigan like, sweater set. I'm in uniform, but I'm not. The, uh, all the jewelry, yeah. the candy necklace oh, that she kept yep, wearing. Yep. I was really excited about that. It was like really good 90s shit that I was like, you know what? I would be on board for a lot of this stuff to come back. If the 90s are back, bring back this, some, some of this shit. The ribbed uh, cream shirts? No. no. Anyway, cheers to all of these fabulous actresses yes. and this amazing movie. And cheers to Witch Chober. I yeah. am excited for what's to come. Yeah. Because this isn't even my favorite witch movie. Oh, there's so many more to come. I'm so excited. Obviously, it's Halloween Town. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously.